unions take the power out of the employer's hands on many issues. There are examples of cases where workers were engaging in sexual or racial harassment, but were protected by their unions and allowed to keep their jobs. Poor workers and excellent workers often receive the same pay and raises, giving no reason for a person to work harder than necessary at their job. Welfare has a special political meaning to the United States because it refers to how the poor receives financial aid. In comparison, welfare services are regarded as a universal right in other regions like Europe, where it is believed that all citizens should be able to obtain a minimal level of social support and well-being. We acknowledge all the information and memory notes provided by students. We also acknowledge open source from various books and journal articles. All questions and answers are prepared and annotated by the Australian Institute of Language. All rights reserved. Not for any commercial purposes, for personal study only. We have attempted to provide as accurate information as possible to assist all students with the exam preparation. Please note, however, that due to the accuracy of the memory, there may be subtle differences in words and phrases. When in actual exams, please carefully read the questions before using any of the sample answers.
Yellow is the most optimistic color, yet surprisingly, people lose their tempers most often in yellow rooms and babies cry more in them. The reason may be that yellow is the hardest color on the eye. On the other hand, it speeds metabolism and enhances concentration, think of yellow legal pads and post-it notes. Cheerful sunny yellow is an attention getter. While it is considered an optimistic color, people lose their tempers more often in yellow rooms, and babies will cry more. It is the most difficult color for the eye to take in, so it can be overpowering if overused. Yellow enhances concentration, hence its use for legal pads. It also speeds metabolism. Well, words come out of the culture that they represent and they describe. Well, words come out of the culture that they represent and they describe. The mock trial aims to increase the interest in the law and traditional process. The mock trial aims to increase the interest in the law and traditional process. Expertise in particular areas distinguishes you from other graduates in a job interview. Expertise in particular areas distinguishes you from other graduates in a job interview. Organic food is grown without being applied chemicals or artificial additives to. Organic food is grown without being applied chemicals or artificial additives to. Our class is divided into two groups. You come with me, the others stay here. Our class is divided into two groups. You come with me, the others stay here. A lot of agricultural workers came to the East End to look for alternative work. A lot of agricultural workers came to the East End to look for alternative work. A new report outlines ways in which cities should address transport issues. A new report outlines ways in which cities should address transport issues. Applicants for the course preferably have a degree in English or journalism.
Applicants for the course preferably have a degree in English or journalism. Internet provides unusual opportunities for students and current events. Internet provides unusual opportunities for students and current events. Arteries carry oxygenated blood from the heart to other parts of the body. Arteries carry oxygenated blood from the heart to other parts of the body. The percentages by age and sex are shown in the graph below. Age groups, females, and men are among the items. The value of 85 and beyond in men is almost 0.7 on this graph, while the value of 75 to 84 is greater and is roughly 3. This graph demonstrates that the maximum value for females, which is 16 and 5, is in the 25 to 34 age range. This graph also shows that a value of less than 4 is equal to 7 and 8. In conclusion, the lowest percentage of women in this age group are 85 and older. Information about diners is provided in the graph below. Tableware, a table, and food are among the components. This graph shows that there is a brown table surrounded by adults and children and made of wood. This graph demonstrates how much dinnerware, including forks and knives, is present on the table. This graph shows that there are some beverages, including wine, orange juice, and water. This graph demonstrates that there is salad in a glass bowl in the middle of the table. It's a lovely image that demonstrates many different concepts. This graph is really informative, to sum it up.
This image provides details on the germination process. A seed is buried in the ground in the first stage, and in the second stage, it becomes a green embryo. The seed coat starts to come off at the third stage, and the black root starts to develop. The seed then emerges from the ground and the pale green cotyledon is visible. The leaves eventually expand to a deep green color. In conclusion, this image illustrates the growth of a seed. The food pyramid is seen in this image. Water, which is most important to human beings, can be seen at the base of the pyramid. Fruits, bread, and cereal are visible on the second layer of the pyramid, which is above water. There is a level of milk, cheese, and meat above the fruits, bread, and cereals. We can see junk food, which is at the top of the pyramid, above the dairy and animal products. This graph is really informative, to sum it up. You can read the provided PPT in accordance with it. In this lecture, the environments on Earth and Mars are contrasted, along with Mars' potential for habitability. Polar caps, atmospheres, and aquatic climates are only a few examples of the commonalities. But there are also many differences between Mars and the Earth. Even the parts of the Earth that are most hospitable differ greatly from Mars. Scientists have conducted test runs in Antarctica in order to get ready for the Phoenix mission. The lecture also discusses the various types of water, hydrology, that exist on Mars' surface and beneath. Climate change, including some unfavorable impacts on agricultural outputs. Crops cannot be grown on all types of land. In the future, millions of people in Africa will go hungry. Less food will be produced as a result of climate change. Due to their financial situation and other challenges, developing nations find it challenging to combat climate change. Many people, particularly in Africa, struggle with hunger. The international economy is being severely impacted by climate change. The dry, hot climate of the tropics made them unsuitable for growing food at first. Extreme weather events like floods and hurricanes are brought on by a changing climate, which makes it harder to produce food. As a result, it causes the food supply to continuously fall by roughly 10 to 17 percent per year. By 2070, it is anticipated that this tendency will still be in place. Some African nations will be among the most affected regions.
A dozen is a grouping of which number? A dozen is a grouping of which number? How would you describe an economy that is largely based on farming? How would you describe an economy that is largely based on farming? What do you need to submit for completing a degree in the university? What do you need to submit for completing a degree in the university? Which part at the end of book can be used for further reading? Which part at the end of book can be used for further reading? In a recession, does economic activity increase or slow down? In a recession, does economic activity increase or slow down? Where is a criminal kept as punishment? Where is a criminal kept as punishment?
so various conclusions. Yes, bees are in decline. These declines are well documented. They are real and supported by good, strong scientific evidence, which is the only of these counts. The drivers of decline on many varied depending on species. The effects of pollinator loss could be absolutely huge. So is it a catastrophe? Not yet. But it could be. On the positive side, we are aware of the problem. Awareness is being raised all the time and people are taking actions. Before fixing is missing, you can recognize the problem. At least it's been done. Globalization is an overused and often misunderstood concept. We hear it all the time on news broadcasts and in any type of public discussion. But the starting point for understanding globalization is that it is industries and markets that globalize, not countries. That's why it's helpful to think of globalization as the integration of economic activities across borders. But why does globalization matter? I would argue globalization matters because it means the rise of interconnectedness between countries and markets across the world. For example, one of the reasons why the financial crash of 2007-2008 was so serious was because the financial and banking systems of countries around the world have become so closely interconnected with the globalization of markets. It now seems likely that the earliest printing presses were, in fact, simply the common screw presses used for crushing oil seeds and herbs, or even for doing more domestic chores such as pressing fabrics, adapted for printing, other large wooden presses, such as those used for crushing the juice from olives and grapes, known as bean presses, had been around for centuries, but proved to be unsuitable for printing due to their size and their necessarily heavy pressure. Most presses of this type work on the simple principle of direct vertical pressure, controlled by a central screw at the lower end of which was attached a flat board, what later became known as a platen. We know that many of these earliest printing presses were still in regular use in the 17th century, and the basic design remained almost unchanged until the 19th century, when they were replaced with iron presses.
Certainly in Europe and the West we tend to think of bread as the staple food in our diet, as many proverbs and sayings, such as bread is the staff of life attest. Yet, for the majority of the world's population the most important staple food is not wheat but rice, which is the seed of a different type of grass. The earliest evidence we have of rice being cultivated dates back to 8,000 years ago, when rice grains of that period were discovered in a village in China. By around 6,000 years ago, the cultivation of both long grain and short grain rice had become well established in China and had just got going in India. The word rice itself, however, is derived from the Aramaic arusa and came to us by way of Greek and Arabic. In fact, it was the Arabs who introduced rice to their Spanish territories in the 7th century, but it didn't spread to the rest of Europe until much later when, in the 15th century, Spaniards began to cultivate their own short grain variety at Pisa in Italy. Well in 2004 we integrated ticketing in southeast Queensland, so we have introduced a paper ticket that allowed you to travel across all the three modes in southeast Queensland, so bus, train and ferry and the second stage of integrated ticketing is the introduction of a smart card, and the smart card will enable people to store value so to put value on the card, and then to use the card for traveling around the system. A majority of U.S. high school students say they get bored in class every day, and more than one out of five has considered dropping out, according to a survey released on Wednesday. The survey of 81,000 students in 26 states found two-thirds of high school students complain of boredom, usually because the subject matter was irrelevant or their teachers didn't seem to care about them. You've heard about SARS, AIDS, and bird flu. Now researchers from Australia claim we're about to be hit by a new epidemic, motivational deficiency disorder. According to the British Medical Journal, one in five people are said to suffer from motivational deficiency disorder, or MOTID, and most don't even know they have it. Symptoms include being unable to get out of bed in the morning, being trapped on the couch.
Don't expect Pamela Anderson to be using her fame to endorse Uber or any other app-based ride-hailing service anytime soon. The former Baywatch beauty is out with a new public service announcement, PSA, called The Driving Game. That slams the ride-hailing industry. As an homage to the classic TV game show, The Dating Game, Anderson plays a passenger grilling three male contestants vying to drive her home, and, given the slew of Uber and Lyft drivers who've been accused of rape, murder, and other crimes across the country, you can understand why the two identified only as ride hail app drivers come off as something akin to dates from hell. The video is part of the Ride Responsibly campaign launched last year by the non-profit National Limousine Association, NLA, with whom the National Sexual Violence Resource Center teamed up for the PSA, that seeks to overcome the Ubers of the world's resistance to subjecting their drivers to the same rigorous criminal background checks as those behind the wheels of taxis and limos. That includes spending the extra money to fingerprint their drivers, says NLA President Gary Bufo. We all know when the trick-or-treaters head home with their Halloween candy and the turkey comas set in after Thanksgiving dinner, the holiday season is right around the corner. Meant to be the happiest time of the year filled with joyous memories, the holiday season can quickly turn into an unwanted shopping nightmare as you try to find the perfect holiday gift for everyone special in your life. Between graduations, school dances, and family vacations, picture-perfect memories are always ready to be made and we all know that mum is the go-to photographer for that special occasion. So make sure the mother in your life has everything she needs to take great photos with the Vivitar VXX14 selfie camera. When using this camera, mum can take crystal clear pictures in superior high definition. Get up close with 4X digital zoom so mum can catch every unforgettable moment. The 180-degree screen rotation on this fun and easy-to-use camera allows you to see the shot before you snap the picture, guaranteeing the perfect selfie with every use. And with the included self-timer, mum can get in on a family photo every time. In 2015 alone, the ethanol industry created and supported more than 350,000 jobs. Ethanol also contributed nearly $44 billion to the U.S. gross domestic product GDP, a number exceeding the total GDP of many countries. And the production of 14.7 billion gallons of ethanol means that the U.S. needed to import 527 million fewer barrels of crude oil to meet the country's demand for gasoline. New technologies are helping make Earth-friendly American ethanol even more sustainable. Energen Corn Enzyme technology, available only from Syngenta, is an in-seed innovation and the industry's only corn designed specifically to enhance ethanol production. By incorporating grain from Energen Corn hybrids into its existing production process, an ethanol plant can reduce the viscosity of its corn mash from a consistency of oatmeal to lemonade, enhancing production efficiency and decreasing costs.
Coming up with clever holiday gifts is always a challenge, especially for someone who has everything. However, ways to get creative include gifts that provide experiences, not just things to accumulate. Think of enjoying a craft beer or wine of the month, flying a drone or model plane, shushing down the slopes on a customized snowboard, or playing a classic arcade game. You're never too old to play, and even hard-working adults need an excuse to discover their inner child now and then. With that in mind, think games when making your holiday gift list. The word science comes from a Latin verb, meaning to know science is a way of knowing. It emerges from our curiosity about ourselves and our world. Striving to understand is one of our basic drives who are scientists. Scientists are people who ask questions about nature and who believe that these questions can be answered. Scientists are explorers who are passionate about underscore 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 underscore. In some ways, mental development is related to social development. In school age, children between the ages of 6 and 12 children move from being able to think only on a concrete level. That is about real objects they can touch to being capable of abstract thought in their social development. Children gradually acquire interpersonal reasoning skills. They learn to understand the feelings of other people, and also learned that a person's actions or words don't always reflect their underscore 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 underscore. Honey bees do a waggle dance to direct other bees to sources to nectar. But dancing bees like this one can be halted by a head butt from another bee. Now researchers have found that this head butt is actually a warning signal. A feeding station was set up up in the lab to mimic a source of nectar. Then foraging bees were introduced to the dangers at the station, such as competition from rival colonies. When foragers returned to the hive, they stopped bees dancing. Scientists think the behavior warns dancers of a dangerous source of nectar. Honeybees do a waggle dance to direct other bees to sources to nectar. But dancing bees like this one can be halted by a head butt from another bee. Now researchers have found that this head butt is actually a warning signal. A feeding station was set up up in the lab to mimic a source of nectar. Then foraging bees were introduced to the dangers at the station, such as competition from rival colonies. When foragers returned to the hive, they stopped bees dancing. Scientists think the behavior warns dancers of a dangerous source of nectar.
The basis of all life on earth is the cell. All creatures on earth are made of cells. I am not gonna dwell on the biology of cells and much it is not that relevant. But I do want to point out a few things. First of all, there are two sorts of cells. As we think all the prokaryotic cell, which is fairly simple and it is the thing that all bacteria are made of. And then we have a eukaryotic cell, much more complicated beasts on the right, which did not appear until well into the history of the biosphere on Earth. And there are many single-celled eukaryotes. But there are also and importantly multicellular organisms and all of those are based on the eukaryotic cell. The basis of all life on Earth is the cell. All creatures on Earth are made of cells. I am not gonna dwell on the biology of cells and much it is not that relevant. But I do want to point out a few things. First of all, there are two sorts of cells. As we think all the prokaryotic cell, which is fairly simple and it is the thing that all bacteria are made of. And then we have a eukaryotic cell, much more complicated beasts on the right which did not appear until well into the history of the biosphere on Earth. And there are many single-celled eukaryotes. But there are also and importantly multicellular organisms and all of those are based on the eukaryotic cell. New media journalism is an exciting area of study. New media journalism is an exciting area of study. Radio is a popular form of entertainment throughout the world. Radio is a popular form of entertainment throughout the world. Library reference desks hold a lot of materials on academic history. Library reference desks hold a lot of materials on academic history. Speak to your tutor if you need further assistance. Speak to your tutor if you need further assistance. If you like our video kindly subscribe our channel and also press the low bell icon. Thank you.